The Cleveland Cavaliers have hired Jose Calderon as a special advisor for their front office management. But who is Jose Calderon? What does his role as special advisor actually involve? And will this new hire propel the Cavaliers to a championship? We'll answer all of these questions, so stick around. First, who is Jose Calderon? Calderon is a 40-year-old Spaniard with a storied career in basketball. He began playing basketball professionally in 1998, inspired by his father who played for his hometown basketball team, Doncel La Serena. Calderon moved through the ranks, eventually making it to the Spanish First Division and competing in the Euro League. Calderon also played on the Spanish national team, taking his team all the way to the Olympics in 2009, 2012, 2016. The team won the silver medal in both 2008 and 2012. Calderon has also had his fair share of time on the court in the NBA. He began playing for the Toronto Raptors in 2005. Throughout his 14-year NBA career, Calderon played for many different teams, including the Detroit Pistons, the Dallas Mavericks, the New York Knicks, and the Cleveland Cavaliers. In fact, Calderon played for the Cavaliers during their 2017-18 season when the team made it all the way to the NBA Finals. Even more interestingly, current Cavs general manager Kobe Altman was promoted to the GM position the same season that Calderon played for the Cavaliers. Could that be the reason Calderon received the special advisor position? We'll talk more about the history between Kobe Altman and Jose Calderon later. Calderon officially retired from basketball professionally after playing for the Detroit Pistons for the 2018-19 season. Calderon is no stranger to working in an executive role. He also worked as a special assistant to the executive director of the National Basketball Players Association for the 2019-2020 season. For his new position as special advisor to the Cavaliers, Calderon said on Twitter, very happy to return to the Cavaliers in this position. Calderon has the experience of playing 20 years of professional basketball. The lesson he's learned will be of great use in his new role, to be sure. What does a special advisor actually do? Special advisors, also sometimes called consultants, are fairly common amongst NBA teams. Often retired players want to continue to assist their team, but don't want the headaches or responsibilities that come with being a head coach or general manager. Other notable special advisors include such NBA legends as Dirk Nowitzki, who serves as general advisor for the Dallas Mavericks, and Jerry West, who was the special advisor for the Golden State Warriors from 2011 until 2017. Coincidentally, Jerry West was the special advisor for the Warriors when they won their first NBA championship in 40 years in 2017. What was the team the Warriors beat in the finals that year? The Cleveland Cavaliers. A team's special advisor works in the front office of the team, along with general manager and assistant general managers. A special advisor lends a certain air of gravitas to the front office. Young players of the team might look up to and have a high amount of respect for the right special advisor, especially if that advisor is a legend in their own right. The special advisor often has many years of professional basketball experience under their belt, usually with some championship experience as well. That knowledge and experience can go a long way in helping a team find their edge, especially if the team is having a difficult season. The special advisor may also work alongside other executives, like the director of scouting, to help create a better team environment. The day-to-day -day duties of a special advisor may differ from team to team, but it is a role that garners much respect and has some influence on a team's success. Now that we know Jose Calderon's history and what his new role as special advisor might involve, there are some other interesting things to consider. Like how does his history with the Cavaliers general manager Kobe Altman factor in? What kind of challenges do the Cavaliers have ahead in the rest of this season? And most importantly, will Calderon actually have a positive impact on the team and help them get to the finals? We're going to answer all of these questions next, so don't go anywhere. Who is Kobe Altman and what kind of history does he have with Jose Calderon? Altman is the current general manager of the Cleveland Cavaliers. He's been with the team since 2012 and has worked a variety of roles in the team's front office. He was the team's director of pro personnel when they won the NBA championship in 2016. Altman was then promoted to assistant general manager for the 2016-17 season. Finally, he was made the team's general manager in the 2017-18 season, where he has been ever since. Since his start with the team, Altman has seen the Cavaliers go to the NBA Finals four times and win one to be named champions. As the current general manager, Altman's main responsibility 
is contract negotiations with current and possible future players. He also focuses on trade deals and general team management. So it's highly likely that Altman had some major influence in hiring Jose Calderon as special advisor. Keep in mind, Altman has made the team's general manager in the very same year that Calderon joined the roster. Essentially, Altman was Calderon's boss from 2017 through 18. Surely Altman kept Calderon in mind when Calderon finally retired at the end of the 19 season. At that time, Calderon became the player's association's special assistant. It's possible Altman was just waiting for Calderon to become available for the special advisor role. After the announcement of Calderon being hired, Altman said in a statement, We're thrilled to add someone of Jose Calderon's background and experience to our front office. Altman, who recently signed a contract extension, extending his stay as general manager through the 27 to 28 season, did Altman have some kind of deal with Calderon to get him back to the Cavaliers? Or do Altman and Calderon just have a good history of working alongside one another? Whatever the case may be, Altman feels like that having Calderon in the Cavs front office is a benefit. What does the rest of the Cavaliers season look like? Over halfway through the season currently, the Cavaliers are in fourth place in the NBA's Eastern Conference. They're only one win and three losses behind the current conference leader, the Chicago Bulls. The Cavaliers are scheduled to play an away game against the number two ranked team, the Miami Heat, on March 11th. They're also scheduled to play the Chicago Bulls in Chicago the following day, March 12th. Although both games are on the road, the Cavaliers hold an excellent away record with 15 wins and nine losses. They're tied in second place for most away wins in the league. Meanwhile, back at home, the Cavs will face the Oklahoma City Thunder, the New York Knicks, and the 2021 NBA champs, Milwaukee Bucks. Fear not, Cleveland has already beaten all three teams this season. Other challenging upcoming games for the Cavaliers include the number five ranked Philadelphia 76ers on February 12th and the number three ranked Brooklyn Nets on April 8th. There's still a long season to go with a lot of interesting matchups. No doubt there will be some shifting in the ranks as well. Some outstanding players to look for on the Cavaliers lineup include Darius Garland, who has averaged 19.7 points per game. Also, be on the lookout for Jarrett Allen, who defensively has received an average of 11 rebounds per game, and keep an eye on Rookie of the Year contender Evan Mobley. Of course, all this is to say that the Cavaliers have great momentum heading into the second half of the 2021-22 season. Will Cauldron help the Cavs make it to the finals? This is obviously the most important question of the day. The Cavaliers are without a doubt chomping at the bit for another shot at the championship. The team hasn't made it to the finals since the 2017-18 season, which was the same season Cauldron played on the team. Could he be the special sauce that gets them back? Keep in mind, that season was also the last season that LeBron James played for the Cavaliers before signing to the LA Lakers. LeBron was without a doubt a key factor in the team winning the championship in 2016, being named the most valuable player in the finals. The Cavs are also likely trying to achieve that same glory without LeBron James. A tough struggle to be sure. Since losing James, the Cavaliers haven't finished any higher than fourth place in the NBA. Maybe Cauldron will help shed some insight into the Cavaliers this season and bring them back to the finals. The Cavaliers are certainly poised for an exciting season, having already beaten all three teams that are ranked higher, the Bulls, the Nets, and the Heat. Cauldron, with his history playing for the Cavaliers in the NBA Finals, and his extensive experience playing basketball professionally on an international scale, could be the edge the Cleveland Cavaliers need to reclaim the NBA championship. What do you think? Is the hiring of Jose Cauldron enough for the Cavs to win the whole thing? What games are you most looking forward to this season? Leave your answers in the comments below, and remember to subscribe for more NBA news.